Yo, howdy, howdy, ho, ho, hey, yo, uh, I'm a little medicated right now, guys, because uh, I got, I get anxiety once in a while, you know, and sometimes you got to take um, some medication to control it, Pete, you are a mess, what the hell's wrong with me? I have a few, I got a package, I figure I'd show you before I open it, um, I'll give you the guy's first name, his first name's Eric, this guy's awesome man, and uh, I just want to show him I did get the package, I'm going to open it on camera, and I got another little gift from my mailman, I got a really cool mailman guys, he's a gun enthusiast, and uh, he watches my videos, and he, he watches it with us, and he's cool, and he gave me this mail today, it's an AK-47, and it's a keychain holder. Believe it or not, I swear to God, I need this so bad you have no idea. Because I have nowhere to put my keys. I'm always throwing them in a bowl. And uh, there's nowhere to put them. This is awesome. So, thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot. I don't want to say his name. I don't know if he wants me to. He's kind of a real private guy. So, I just want to respect that. This is awesome. I'm showing it. I don't know where. I might, I might put it here. I, I don't know. It's... But I gotta hang my keys on it, so it might look cool up on the wall or something. And uh, thank you. Ah, uh, got my Gloucester County Fire Department shirt on. And let's open this package. Let me show you something real quick. I'm, I'm got a little holster talk for a second. This is my bench made. Uh, I'm not a holster expert. But I've been through quite a few holsters you guys know of. Man, look at this dog hair on the damn shirt. I've been through a lot of holsters, man. I've been through, I've had the Scorpions, I've had the, the Crossbreeds, which are really nice. White Hat holsters, really nice holsters. Every holster I've had were nice. There wasn't too many that were crap. They all hold the gun. They all hold the gun good. But I don't think you're going to find a, a holster that's actually comfortable. Unless, unless you're carrying a mouse gun. And if you don't know what the friggin' mouse gun is, because you're new, I'm going to tell you. It's just a gun that's real little. You know, like the, like the uh, SIG P238 or the Ruger LC9, which I was, I was looking at one of those. Or the Ruger LCP. Uh, guns like that, they're like little mouse guns, man. They call them mouse guns because they're little. It's, it's not, no, it's nothing scientific and too complicated. Um, what the hell is I talking about guns like that for? I forget. So we're talking about holsters. Anyway, oh, comfort, that's it, comfort. I have shoulder rigs, I have leather shoulder rigs, I have, um, nylon and elastic shoulder rigs and uh, shoulder rigs are actually pretty cam comfortable in the waistband outside the waistband left right uh, appendix style you know small your back style ankle holster nothing's really comfortable I mean you're not gonna say you could say you know it's um it's tolerable I can tolerate it here. This is cool. I can carry it like this. It's, it's, it's not bad. But I've never had a holster that's comfortable. So if, if you're new to guns and you're trying to find a holster that's actually comfortable and you don't even know it's there, that's really not going to be possible unless you're carrying a mouse gun. When you carry a mouse gun, you really do forget about it. It's, it's there. There are times when I carried the Springfield XD or the Glock <coughs> 27 you know, or the 26, them sub-compact guns, you pretty much forget they're there, almost. I mean, it's not quite, but... I was thinking about getting my Glock 27 back, but then I said, well, I've got a Glock 23. It's a 40 caliber, and it's a compact. I can get the Glock 27, and that's sub-compact. But that would be... I don't know how much sense that would make. So I think, guys, I might end up getting a Glock 26. I just need something small that I could just throw, throw on me. And it's really comfortable. So since we're talking about little holsters, little guns, I want to show this holster I got from Black Hill Holsters. Now this guy, 
not his name's uh, I'm not gonna say his last name. Uh I don't know, I, I can't pronounce it. Rodolfo. That's it. I'm not gonna say his last name. And uh Black Hill holsters are made by hand. And it takes a while to get them. And we do have them and we do sell them on our website, okay? We're affiliates for them, okay? So, you know. And uh the Armor Express sells them. And uh I gotta show you this holster for the P two thirty eight right handed in the waistband. Check this out. Wow. This must be holster one month because I have another holster coming that a really cool dude made from my Ed Brown. That'll be here soon. Wait do you see that? Now this is from Black Hill. These are all handmade. Look at the finish work on this man. Nice and stiff. It's got that deep dark cherry plum color. That's my favorite. I love that color. And this is for the SIG P238. And I am sending this to a really good friend of mine for Christmas. Because the guy helped me out so many friggin' times. Uh, he definitely deserves it. Because I know he has a P238. He just got one. And uh, I want to send this to him. This thing is absolutely gorgeous man Jesus I, I called Bill I was like Bill you gotta see this holster I mean the craftsmanship is look at look at the finish work look how they sand the edges it's all nice and smooth Black Hill and uh this guy will make any holster you want for any gun you want it'll be custom just for your gun Black Hills Leather. And uh, it's, it's I think it's on our website under Customs. Custom Holsters. You just look for the title. You'll find it. And uh, like I said. Awesome. And uh, Tom had a talk with him. And uh, had him sent me one of these. Because I did have a 238. But I don't have one no more. And I had a talk with Tom. I said hey. Here's a guy that's an awesome person and just got a P238. Let's send him this for Christmas, and that's what we're doing. I'd rather not say who it is, but it's just a good friend. And I just wanted to show you a guy. I mean, I know he's going to see this. Dude, look at this holster, man. Look how beautiful this thing is. He's trying to give you an up close. This video is more for my buddy that I'm sending this to. I said, I want to show it in the video, dude. You need to take a good look at it. I just appreciate how beautiful this thing is. And that's it. That's it. In the waistband, right handed for a P238 Sig Sour. Okay. Putting that aside. I'll be shipping that today, bro. You're the man. Um, thank. I want to thank everyone for being really cool about the video I did for Cutlery Lover. I hope he gets back on his feet, and when he does, we all can help him and get his uh, get his audience back and get all his friends back. And just what Jeff said in that video that Mad Bear Voodoo put up, I, I feel the same way. You know, you, we're all friends, and just because it's text back and forth, and you guys are our buddies, man, and we're your buddies. And if people say, hey, you're on YouTube too much, get a life, they need to get a fucking life. They're just mean, miserable assholes and people just don't probably hate don't people probably don't like them and and they, they just can't stand to see people uh be dedicated to somebody you know what i'm saying it goes up their ass they hate it so people that say if you're on youtube too much you need to get a life they, they need to get a life they have they have they have zero friends i guarantee you they have no they have nobody they're the kind of people that say that shit. Uh, alright. YouTube's one of the, I have, let me tell you something. I have a ton of friends. I have an army of friends. 
You could fill a fucking stadium up with all the close friends I got, and I'm on YouTube a lot. So what the fuck's that tell you? Don't listen to people, man. It's all, they're just negative scumbags. Alright. Let me open this up. I'm trying not to show the dude's name, because then I'll have to edit. Like, oh, I showed it. How did I not see that? I do it all the time. All I can tell you is his name's Eric. And the guy sent me, he sent me something before a couple times. And just a good guy. Just very appreciative. And, uh... There we go. I have no idea what it is. I ain't got a clue. Let's see what we got. I know you guys like this. Oh. You know, if you guys know what these are good for, if you guys... If you guys have a little wiener and you want to want to want to make it look like you have a nice bulge in your pants, stuff these down in front of your pants. These are awesome. You look like Burt Reynolds in the 70s. That's what them guys used to do back back then. Remember that shit? All right. Wow. Holy shit. A Fat Max tape measure. Brand new. I love tools. These, I'm serious, guys. If you, if you guys are not into tools and you're laughing because it's a tape measure, don't laugh. This is like the Ed Brown or the Wilson Combat of tape measures. These ain't the Fat Max series. They're, you could throw this thing off the Empire State Building and it won't break. I'm exaggerating. But still. Eric, thanks so much for this tape measure, bro. This is awesome. Heavy duty, beyond belief. This thing is like a brick. The Fat Max. That's nice of him. There you go. Thank you, Eric. All right, guys. This is just a another update video. I just wanted to let you in on what's going on in my life. Not much. I haven't been feeling well lately. I just, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if any of you guys ever had it. You know, I don't like telling people all my business, but... I don't know. I think I'm too open on this channel sometimes. I don't know if you guys have... You ever guys ever have problem with anxiety? Phew. I had it years ago. Years ago. And now it's starting up again. I don't know if it's because of... I don't know what it's from. It just comes on. And if you have it, man, it's awful. Phew. It's really awful. So you gotta take, you know, prescription drugs. And what they do is... They just slow your heartbeat down and they keep you calm, keep you from flipping out. And uh, I'll, I'll be on them just for a few days, and then, then I won't get it for months. It's just something I get. It runs in the family. My 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 sisters get it too bad. I'm surprised my brother don't get it because he's more high strung than I am. He's real high. He's, he's more. He's like as tight as a guitar string. That guy, but he don't get this stuff. I don't get it. He's lucky. All right, guys. Hope you like the update, and uh, when I get the other holster for the Ed Brown that's coming, I will show you. I'll see you guys soon. I gotta go to the post office and ship some cookies out. Have a good holiday.